What's up guys, this is Cody here, and today I'm going to be talking about how to get iOS 9 features on your jailbroken iOS 8 device. So let's go ahead and get started. So unless you guys have been living under a rock, the new iOS 9 on the iPad got split screen multitasking. Now the iPhone doesn't get split screen multitasking in iOS 9, but you can actually get it on your jailbroken iPhone. So you can see right here that I have my iPhone 6 Plus. And you can see if we open up our settings, we're going to be using a tweak called Reach App. Now, what Reach App does basically give you split screen multitasking similar to what you get in iOS 9 on the iPad. So basically, you have all your settings right here that you can go through and set up and customize. But basically, how this works is you use reachability in order to split screen multitask. So all you would do is double press, like you would just activate reachability. And then you can see right up here that we basically have my mailbox so I can go through here I can open up my mail I can go back I can navigate I can basically do everything if my password was entered right it's telling me that my password's wrong here but you can also resize just like you can on the iPad just like that so if you need one size or one application to be a little bit bigger than the other one for whatever reason then you can do that just by grabbing that little grabber now another really cool feature in iOS 9 on the iPad is picture in picture now this is something that's definitely not new to the jailbreak scene we've been using a tweak for quite some time now called video pane that does just that now it usually works in YouTube but for some reason with the new update of YouTube it's not working right now hopefully there'll be an update for that but this actually does still work in another uh, application that I use for YouTube called ProTube so you can see right here basically how this works and you can set this up in a couple different ways but basically you can set this up to ask you to detach the video when a video starts playing so you can see right here that we're going to go ahead and detach that and let's mute it just because it's loud but you can see right here that you can basically dock this in several locations on your phone while you're doing stuff in the background you can even actually slide this over if you put it down the middle and you can dock it over in the right hand side or the left hand side and you can actually make it bigger if you want to do that as well. So very nice and well working tweak. They usually are when they're developed by Ryan Petrich. And actually to close out of this, all you have to do is just swipe it up and that's going to close the video. Also, we got a new keyboard on the iPad. So you can see right here, if I use two fingers, we can push down on the keyboard and then swipe around. You can even pick up one of those fingers after you've initiated this. And this is going to allow you to move around that cursor. But you also have a new shift key that actually shifts all the keys when you hit that shift keys. Now we actually have the exact same thing here. So you can see if I just tap right here, you can see if I swipe across that I'm actually going through my text right here with just my finger swiping across the keyboard. And that's due to a tweak called swipe selection. This is also a tweak that's been around for quite some time. And you'll notice that my keyboard is actually lowercase. And when I hit the shift key, it goes capitalized just like you do on iOS 9, except again, this is something that we've had for a long time, and it's a tweak called Showcase. And these two tweaks are an absolute must have on every jailbroken device, but I guess at this point, they're pretty much dead in the water because iOS 9 has killed both of those tweaks. Now for the iPhone in iOS 9, we actually got a new feature called Low Power Mode. Now you can actually see right here on a jailbroken device, before iOS 9, we had something very similar using a tweak called Bat Saver. So you can see right here that we're using normal mode. But we can tap right here and we can actually change this up to basically give us the same type of uh, effect that we would get with low power mode. So you can go into ultimate mode, which basically makes you enable radios manually. Or you can actually go into a custom mode where you can designate exactly how you want your battery to be used right there. Now keep in mind that I'm not going to be going through every single thing that all these tweaks do. This is basically just a refresher for you guys that are trying to get those iOS 9 features on your jailbroken phone. Also in iOS 9 across all devices we have new rounded corner menu items. So you can see right here if I just go into uh, Safari here and let's just say that I tap and hold on one of these links. Well let's let it load. Now let's try it. And you'll see that we actually have the rounded menu items that we get in iOS 9 in iOS 8 with a tweak called Corner. This is actually a brand new tweak came out just a couple of days ago. So if you want to check that out, then you can download this and you can get those rounded menu items. Now we also got a brand new app switcher as well. Basically has those rounded corners and you can see that kind of cover flow effect as I go through the switcher cards 
and you can also just swipe those up to close out of them. But you can also see that we have something similar, not exactly the same, but you can see if we open up our app switcher that we have these rounded corners for our app cards. And this is by a tweak called rounded switcher cards. Now you actually have to add a repo for this. I'll put that in the link in the description below so you guys can just copy and paste it. But you can see right here that we also have a little bit of a different uh, cover flow and that's due to 3D switcher. So that's another tweet you can download if you wanna get this kind of nice effect that we have going on right here. Here you can see when you swipe from the left and let's just say that you go into a news article. Well, you can see right up here at the top that we actually have a back to search button that we can tap on that's gonna take us directly back to our search. You can also do the exact same thing for uh, within applications as well. So if you're in an application and you tap on something that launches another application, then you're going to get that option to tap back to go to that app. Now this is actually a very similar feature that we have on our jailbroken device as well. So you can see right here that if we go into Activator, you can see that let's just go and we're going to set the double press of the home button to last app. So now when we double press on the home button, then this is going to give us the last application that we were in. So for instance, if we go into Safari here and let's go ahead and close out of that. And now let's open up uh, our settings. So now let's just double press and you can see that we go directly into Safari. Again, if we double press again, then we go back into the settings. So this is basically just like that back button that you get on iOS 9, just a little bit of a different way to use it. But that's all I have for this video. Of course, if you guys find some other tweaks that you can get that mimic the iOS 9 features, then be sure to let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you guys wanna see more of my videos on everything jailbreak, everything Apple, make sure you subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, peace.